Hello and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about all things self-care, some tips and stuff to take care of yourself as a mom and homemaker. Whether you're a stay-at-home mom, working mom, work from home mom, I truly believe that as moms and homemakers, we tend to put ourselves last. And so my hope with this video is to inspire you to learn to take care of yourself because you cannot pour from an empty cup, my friend. Let's talk about it and open up the conversation in the comments. Now, this isn't to say that like men don't deserve self-care or anything like that. I believe everybody deserves some self-care, but this video is definitely geared more towards moms and homemakers. Taking care of yourself creates that beautiful ripple effect that touches every single person in your life. So coworkers, spouses, children, like any single person who is in your life can benefit when your cup is full. Let's dive in. Number one is to get up before your kids wake up. Now you might not be part of the 5 a.m. club and that is a-okay, but I highly recommend getting up before your kids, usually 20 to 30 minutes so that you can actually enjoy a coffee in peace and quiet and stillness. There is just something about starting your day before chaos just like hits the floor. And so again, wake up 30 minutes before your kids do and you will reap amazing rewards. You don't need to have some sort of like extravagant morning routine, although I recommend one. <laughs> That's a whole other video in itself. If you wanna see, let me know and I will definitely do that for you in the future. But a lot of the things I'm gonna talk about today are part of my morning routine as well. Personally, I do wake up at 5 a.m. because I need a solid two hours before I am able to function. <laughs> and so I get up two hours before my kids wake up so that I can just really ease into the day and take care of myself. Let me know down below. Are you part of the 5 a.m. club? The next thing is to sit in silence and just soak in stillness three times a day if you can. I recommend morning, afternoon, and evening. So morning, first thing before you wake up, don't reach for your phone right away. Just like be still, enjoy a cup of coffee, let your feelings and your emotions just kind of flow. And then if you do have time in the afternoon to take a minute before your kids are home from school, if not, maybe while they're napping or something like that. And then of course, before bed, I think it is important to just, again, sit in silence and stillness and learn to just be with your thoughts. I think it's also important to take care of your mind. So whether you are reading, whether you're listening to a podcast that helps with, you know, self growth, development, self awareness and stuff like that. I think it is really important to use some sort of tool to benefit your mind as I believe the mind is so powerful. And the next thing that I like to do is get ready for the day. And this is gonna look different for everybody. Not everybody likes to put on a full face of makeup, not everybody likes to wear dresses or whatever, but do what makes you feel good. So for me, that is getting ready, having my hair done, even if I just have some light like wonder screen on or like a tinted moisturizer or something like that. It makes me feel a thousand times better. You all know I love putting a dress on as well. And then of course, washing my face. Sometimes it is as simple as just washing your face in the morning. It can make you feel a thousand times better. The only other thing I would recommend doing is to get out of your pajamas. Even if you are just getting out of like your leggings and you know, putting on jeans or whatever, like again, it doesn't have to be anything fancy or a dress, do what makes you feel good. Another form of self care can look like talking to somebody about your struggles. And if you are struggling right now to find someone to talk to, I have the perfect solution for you. And that is better help. When we moved across the country four and a half years ago, I had a brand new baby. She was five weeks old at the time and we had so many life changes. We moved across the country. I was adjusting to two kids under the age of two and just moving away from my entire family in general was really, really hard on me. And then shortly after that, the pandemic hit, which I think we can all agree that our mental health was affected in like some way, shape or form over those years. And I wish I would have known about better help during that season of my life. I wasn't ready to talk to a local therapist for numerous reasons, but mainly I didn't have anyone here to recommend someone. Additionally, I was struggling and as an Enneagram 8, I don't like to ask for help and I don't like to make myself feel vulnerable. So the idea that BetterHelp connects you to a licensed therapist all online, they give you unbiased advice, 
I think I would have done it and I wouldn't have struggled for so long. I want to strongly encourage you to talk to somebody no matter what you were going through. If you are struggling, take this as your sign to get some help and talk to somebody. The best part about BetterHelp, it's so easy. You can go right to their website, www.betterhelp.com forward slash Brianne Walter, answer a few questions and they will match you to a licensed professional who is helping other people with years of experience, usually dealing with similar problems to yours. You can do it all from your phone or your computer via phone call, video chat, messaging, whatever you feel the most comfortable with and they will match you usually to a therapist within 48 hours so you can get started fast. Again, head to my link, www.betterhelp.com forward slash Brianne Walter and enjoy a discount on your very first month. You can also head to their website and just use my channel name, Brianne Walter. Again, they will give you a discount on your entire first month. There is no need for you to continue to struggle and I truly hope that if you are, you take this as your sign to get started with a licensed professional. Thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. The next one is kind of too intertwined and it is just to be mindful about what you are putting in and on your body. Your skin is the largest organ on your body and it's really important to take care of it and be mindful of it. That is why I switched over to Dime Skincare. You guys know I love their products. I've been using them for almost a year now. And what I love about them is they are rated on the safest level of the EWG scale. Everything is rated a one to three on that scale. So I know that what I'm putting on my body is safe and also effective. With that being said, also be mindful again of what you are putting into your body. Now I am not a nutritionist. I am not a dietitian. I have like zero nutrition background but I do believe that sugar is awful for you. And if you can really limit that as well as your carb intake and just really be mindful about putting whole foods into your body, you will not only look good, you'll feel good, your sleep quality will improve as well, and it just reaps so many benefits. I can promise you that. This is one thing I have completely changed over the last couple of months here, and on top of it, you might even drop some extra pounds. The next one is to move your body. So things like working out, getting outside in nature, like going for a bike ride, a walk. This could be too as well, like getting out in nature and then working out or moving your body. But working out has a huge impact on your health, both physically and mentally. Now I am someone who likes to like go hard when I work out. Prior to having kids, I was doing CrossFit five times a week. Now that I am a mom, I have found my love again for working out in different ways. And I recently joined a company called Body and I am really excited about it. They are actually offering me a discount code for all of my friends and family. And so if you guys are interested in starting it, it is an online platform where you can work out from home. As again, I'm a busy mom. I don't really have time to go to the gym. And at this season in my life, I prefer working out at home other than my dance class that I do twice a week. And so body just kind of like fit everything that I was hoping for in a workout routine. And I am able to work out again from home as many times as I want, but for me, it's five days a week. So if you were interested in that, I will link that as well as everything that I'm talking about in today's video down below in the description so you can help better and improve your life. So that leads me into the next one, which is to do what you love and focus on those passions. Before becoming a mom, we all had our passions. And I know that as time goes on, we can sometimes lose ourselves through motherhood. And I think it is so important to go on the journey of self-discovery and find those passions again. For me, I have always loved sports. It has always been a part of my life and will always be a part of my life as long as I am able. It's just another way that I like to move my body. But over the last year, I realized how much I missed dancing. Dancing has always been a huge love of mine. My sister and I, when we were younger, we had bunk beds in our room and we would literally tie a blanket onto the bottom bunk, like cover it so that we couldn't see what each other were doing and we would make up a dance and show each other. And so it's like embedded in me to just dance my heart out. And I came across the B class over the last year and it has completely transformed me and reignited my passion for dancing again. Now it's not just any dance class. It is a workout, of course, 
but it is also very intentional songs. It is very powerful, it is very moving, very releasing. If you have access to a B class near you, I highly recommend it. I truly can't say enough good things about it. Okay, let's talk about some bonus tips. You had to know I was gonna include this in here, but declutter your house. <laughs> Visual stimulation and clutter is actually directly proportional to women's stress levels. Isn't that crazy? It's literally a fact. A fact. Well, I know the thought of decluttering can seem a little bit overwhelming, there is steps that you can take to make it more manageable. Now, if you have no idea where to start, how to declutter or anything like that, you have to check out my 30 days to a simplified home decluttering guide. It's gonna help you gain clarity in your home and again, break down the steps to help it become less overwhelming for you and just more manageable. Decluttering has truly changed my life as a mom. The next one is to clean your home. So cleaning and decluttering does kind of go hand in hand. And once you've decluttered, it makes cleaning your home so much more easier and manageable. Why? Simply because you are not moving around so many items. You don't have to dust as much because there's less items around. There, you don't have to move as much around. Things like that makes a big impact and takes up way less of your time when it comes to cleaning and maintaining your house. On top of that, there is statistics that cleaning your house actually makes you feel good. Think about it. How do you feel when your house is clean? You feel incredible. Like you, there's no denying it. Now, with that being said, cleaning and decluttering, it's a practice, not a project. Let me repeat that. Cleaning and decluttering is a practice, not a project. So there's this notion that it's a one and done thing and it is definitely not. I am still decluttering and while I'm not like ruthlessly decluttering my house or you know going crazy when it comes to like cleaning and stuff like that, there is still maintaining that and so I want you to know it's not a one and done thing. Depending on how much stuff you're actually bringing into your home is going to depend on how often you're gonna have to do those maintenance declutters or clean or anything like that. But according to the American Cleaning Institute, 87% of people feel accomplished after they have cleaned their house. Creating a simplified home, again, is truly going to change your life, reduce the chaos in your home, and just help you to become less overwhelmed as a mom and homemaker. So again, with all of that to say, there's no need for you to continue to be overwhelmed in your home as a mom. Taking care of yourself can look like so many different things. There's a lot more that I could add to the list. Let me know if there's anything that you would add to the list down below in the comments. And if you are struggling, I want to encourage you to check out BetterHelp. Again, you can head to the link down below in the description or go to their website, www.betterhelp.com forward slash Brianne Walter, or just put my channel name, Brianne Walter, at checkout. Thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Thank you for being here and taking some time and spending it with me here today. I truly hope that you found value in this. Let me know which one resonated with you the most, which one are you excited to implement into your life? Let's chat about it in the comments. That is all I have for you guys. We will see you in my next video. Bye.